all the ends or all the earth shall bow down before you O God and shall sing to you shall sing to your name O most high in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit the lord be with you we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries as we acknowledge our sins and our need for god's mercy Lord Jesus, you raise us up to new life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. May almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth. Mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Samuel. Saul took 3,000 picked men from all Israel and went in search of David and his men in the direction of the wild goat crags. When he came to the sheepfolds along the way, he found a cave which he entered to relieve himself. David and his men were occupying the inmost recesses of the cave. David's servants said to him, This is the day of which the Lord said to you, I will deliver your enemy into your grasp. Do with him as you see fit. So David moved up and stealthily cut off an end of Saul's mantle. Afterward, however, David regretted that he had cut off an end of Saul's mantle. He said to his men, The Lord forbid that I should do such a thing to my master, the Lord's anointed, as to lay a hand on him, for he is the Lord's anointed. With these words, David restrained his men and would not permit them to attack Saul. Saul then left the cave and went on his way. David also stepped out of the cave, calling to Saul, My lord, the king. When Saul looked back, David bowed to the ground in homage and asked Saul, Why do you listen to those who say David is trying to harm you? You see for yourself today that the Lord just now delivered you into my grasp in the cave. I had some thought of killing you, but I took pity on you instead. I decided I will not raise a hand against my lord, for he is the Lord's anointed and a father to me. Look here at this end of your mantle, which I hold. Since I cut off an end of your mantle and did not kill you, see and be convinced that I plan no harm and no rebellion. I have done you no wrong, though you were hunting me down to take my life. The Lord will judge between me and you, and the Lord will exact justice from you in my case. I shall not touch you. The old proverb says, from the wicked comes forth wickedness, so I will take no action against you. Against whom are you on campaign, O king of Israel? Whom are you pursuing, a dead dog or a single flea? The Lord will be the judge. He will decide between me and you. May he see this and take my part and grant me justice beyond your reach. When David finished saying these things to Saul, Saul answered, Is that your voice, my son David? And Saul wept aloud. Saul then said to David, You are in the right rather than I. You have treated me generously while I have done you harm. Great is the generosity you showed me today. When the Lord delivered me into your grasp, and you did not kill me. For if a man meets his enemy, does he send him away unharmed? May the Lord reward you generously for what you have done this day. And now I know that you surely sh shall surely be king, and that sovereignty over Israel shall come into your possession. The word of the Lord. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy. Me, God, have mercy. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me, for in you I take refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge till harm pass by. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy. I call to God the Most High, to God my benefactor. May he send from heaven and save me. May he make those a reproach who trample upon me. May God send his mercy and his faithfulness. 
Have mercy on me, God, have mercy. Be exalted above the heavens, O God. Above all the earth be your glory. For your mercy towers to the heavens and your faithfulness to the skies. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy. Alleluia, alleluia. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus went up the mountain and summoned those whom he wanted, and they came to him. He appointed twelve, whom he also named apostles, that they might be with him, and he might send them forth to preach and to have authority to drive out demons. He appointed the twelve. Simon, whom he named Peter, James, son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, whom he named Bonerges, that is, sons of thunder, Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon, the Canaanian, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. The Gospel of the Lord. This morning in the scriptures, we see many references and examples of mercy in which you know, David treats Saul mercifully, but Jesus also, he treats all of us mercifully as he begins the foundations of his church through which we continue to receive the healing graces of God. And in the words of David in the first reading today, we are reminded why we practice mercy because as he says you know the wicked from wicked people come wicked things well we want to be known as good because the goodness of god is in us and so we strive to act like god to do what is good and what is gentle and we know that god is merciful but god is also just so also, as David said, right, God will judge in the end. He will do the right for us, and he will make it up to us for the things that we have suffered patiently because of his name. And so again, as we receive the Lord into our hearts this day, we ask that his mercy may touch us and heal us so that we too can extend that same mercy to others. We then call upon God with humble hearts, asking him to accept our petitions. For bishops and priests, may the Lord continue to bless them and protect them and sanctify them for his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, May the Lord's peace and generosity guide them in their decision-making. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have been wrongly or falsely imprisoned, may the Lord grant them justice and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, may the Holy Spirit continually renew and sustain us in our lives of discipleship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, May God's love and mercy surround them and bring them to his everlasting kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intentions of this Mass, which are for the health and wellness of Cheryl Frost, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Heavenly Father, you indeed look upon us with kindness. May you again graciously hear and answer these prayers and keep us safe throughout our day. For we ask all this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. 
for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
You have prepared a table before me, and how precious is the chalice that quenches my thirst. Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness, make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. And God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.